Well, I'm very excited about this particular match, my man. It's uh, Barry the Mule here, co-commentating with um, Nabil. Nabil. Nabil, what's your surname, buddy? Hassan. His name is Hassan. Nabil, you predicted this final today. Yes, I did. You predicted it a lot earlier than this. You predicted it about three, three rounds ago. Yeah. And uh, who's your pick for this match? Definitely Dev Roger. It's a pretty close game, but um, it would have to be Roger. Who's, who's going to be? You have to be mad to be better against Relgic, but in this particular case, um, we've got Stuart Lawler who has an made runner-up the last two events and now another final. Out of three tournaments, he's come second, second, and now the worst he can finish is second again. Well, That's consistency there. Well, he's played against the same person in three finals. Uh, well, two, two out of two, three. Yeah. So and off the bat, scratch. he's um, scratched off the break and given control to Stuart Lawler. I'll tell you what, I, I really think there's not much in it between these two players at all. I, I wouldn't put either one favourite over the other. Um, when it comes to nine ball, um, I think that uh, Real Dick is probably the more experienced nine ball player. Um, but when it comes to Q Sports, I'd say Lawler's the most experienced nine ball player. I mean, when it comes to snooker, eight ball, nine ball, and anything to do with a piece of wood in your hand, you know, Lawler is feared by a lot of players. With good reason, he's a he's an excellent cueist, a very very good potter, and the, the big factor in this game, I think, as well, is the tight pockets. Definitely, tight pockets would favour more a player like Stewart, Stewart, yeah, than Realjic, purely because um, tighter pockets do tend to, to favour somebody who's got more position of the white ball. Yes, and a, and he's and Law is known to be one of the most, if not the best potter in the country. That being said, though, Relgic is also an Australian champion nine-ball player, Australian champion eight-ball player three times in a row. He's been played for Australia overseas in international tournaments yep. uh, in Europe and America. And, um, yeah, he's also very tough to beat. So, again, for me, it's 50-50 either way. Yeah, I would say it's even odds. Like, you know, we were discussing the past two tournaments and like we were discussing earlier that, you know, the last tournament, it was pretty much heel heel. And, you know, yeah, it, was, it, came it, was down, it came down to came the down last frame. frame. Yeah, between these two. And really, I think that the person who gets off to a flying star is going to be favourite. Will be, yeah, will be the guy that probably wins this match. But both of them are capable of breaking and running three, four, five racks in a row, even on a table like this, which doesn't play that easy. Oh, look at Lola doing the business. Yeah, that's game over. Makes it look so easy. Wow. <laughs> All right, this match is motoring along 1 0 already after less than a minute of play. Still a lot of the break, and look at this power break. Both these players have got very good wow. breaks. Wing ball straight in the corner pocket, four ball straight in, and he's got a shot wow. in one. This looks very interesting. Very promising. For a player of Stuart Lawler's calibre. Might have a bit of trouble with the five. Well, the three ball leads straight to the five. If the three goes past the seven ball in the corner yeah. pocket, it wouldn't be hard at all. Needed a good angle on this two ball to get down to the three. I think he's on the wrong side of it. Yeah, he is. Made stun left there. Beautiful shot. See how and he, right. he, could sit, sit, he could sit on the seven, though. Well, he has to the use the seven yeah, to, he has to the five. Yeah. Danger is if he um, hits the wrong side of the seven, he goes behind the black ball yeah, and hooks himself. Then he'll be in trouble. He could go off the seven and sit in front of the black though. First thing is though, make the ball. Yeah, that's right. This is not an easy ball to make. Wow. For me, it's not an easy ball to make for me. But for Lola, it's very easy. As he just showed us. <laughs> and, uh, and I think that's a pot as well. And I tell you what, he's, he's ready for this game. He's looking good. He's an absolute fire today. What a shot. Absolute perfection. Guy's a machine. Again, he's got to get a nice angle now on the seven ball to come back for the black. So this is the key. Key shot would be from seven to black. To the black, yeah. And he's landed kind of... Oh, he could. A little flat. He'll draw this straight down, though. He's bringing it down. He's coming yeah. down. 
Wow, again. We've seen this time and time again today. Someone uses a lot of power and the ball is uh, near the rail like that. They draw and pop, pop out or stay in the hole. We've seen that a lot of times throughout the whole tournament, actually. Yeah. Rogic now is looking at this shot. Seven ball in the middle. Lovely three-hour shot there. Land nicely on the black. It's pretty hard cut. Uh, Rodrick's taking his time here because he does realise he's got to get out of here. You don't want to let someone like Stuart Lawler be up 2-0 in the race to 9. Definitely you not. You don't want him to be up it's at all. It's pretty cutthroat when it's race to 9. So ladies and gentlemen, our camera screen has just gone down so we can't actually see what's happening. So we'll um, take a short break and be back with you in just a moment. Oh, Lola just played a really nice safety shot there. Snookered um, David Rogers behind the nine ball. And all of a sudden what was uh, going to be looking like 2-0 uh, for Lola in not even two minutes. It's now become a struggle over this frame. It's a lovely safety shot from uh, Relgic from what he had. He just brushed the um, outside edge of the black ball. Send the white ball down the rail, down the table. It's a pretty difficult shot on the cushion there. Ooh, did the walk. Started walking. As I said, it's pretty diff difficult yeah. shot from that angle. Now, it wouldn't be a difficult shot on a lot of other tables. No, no. A lot of other tables expect them to make that. We we're talking about the bigger pocket tables. Yeah. But on these tables here, yeah, they are very, very tight tables. Rogic got himself a lifeline there. Oh, yeah. Now it's one apiece as soon as he makes this ball. It's a good shot, good finish. Kimpton's the um, racker and the referee. He is. All right. Wow. That's a dry break. Dry break from Relgic. He hasn't had many dry breaks. They've been breaking extremely well today. Yeah, he has been. I, but I think Lula has been potting more balls on the breaks now. Yeah, Lula's break has been all very, day, very All day, all day he's been potting balls off the break consistently. Wow. And oh, he just snookered himself. Well, he wasn't going for the double. No, he was trying he was for the safety. safety yeah. yeah. But um. But it is Stuart Lawler we're talking about. Yeah, Stuart Lawler. Yeah. Oh, you could see it. Wow. Well, now he's going to have to play safe. go up and down the table. That's that a nice is a shot. wonderful that shot. A nice shot. That's a Gets him behind the nine. Shoot. You know, this game is going to be small chances for other player. You, when you get in there, you're going to run out. Because neither one of them is not, is not going to give you an easy opportunity. Definitely not. Take every chance you've got. And when you're in there, if you haven't got a chance, you're going to really snooker your opponent or, or leave a very difficult shot for him. Like he's going to one rail here. It's like we discussed earlier that, um, you know, you pay, for your, you, you pay for the mistakes at this stage of the tournament now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Unexpected miss there from Stuart. But he played down. Safe, safe. Yeah, with position. Safe with position. Awesome. Now I can see this ball. We can see this ball. 
and that's a nice shot by Dave. Nice pop. What I love about Stuart Lawler's game, uh, sorry, sure, um, sure. What I love about, <laughs> what I love about David, <laughs> David's game, <laughs> and what I always talk about David J David's game when I play, uh, when I play other people and I talk about David's game, is his shot selection. Yeah. Because the way he, he moves that one up around the table. Decisions that he makes. I mean, you can't be a, you know, a three-time in a row, eight ball, Australian eight ball champion, nine ball champion and whatnot, by not making the correct decisions. You've got to make the correct decisions. Correct. Definitely. And then making the correct decisions half the battle. Then it's, it's executing the shot. Well, he's good at both areas. Yeah. And his temperament as well. Always smiling. He wasn't always like that though. When he was younger, he wasn't always like that. No. No, but now he's developed this really good temperament where he just takes a frame at a time. And it just seems like nothing bothers him. And well, also, he's an extremely nice guy. Everyone gets along yeah. very well with Wilczek. Well, he is a Gemini. He's a Gemini. Why would you know that, Nabil? <laughs> Nabil, don't sit so close to me. Get your hand off my leg. <laughs> uh, he could have put himself in big trouble here. Ah. Oh. He is in big trouble. He's in trouble here. Yeah. This frame should be uh, Stuart's frame. That's a little shot to the stun, right? Another stun. All three balls in the same pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Nabil. All three balls go in the same pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a cutie. What? what? <laughs> dude, focus on this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nine ball goes down. It's two lines of Stuart Lawler. Okay, Stuart Lawler to break. Score is two one. Power break. Yeah, nine ball moving, but he scratched. see whether Roger can uh, equalize the key key, key key ball in this rack is getting from the three ball to the four yep and Roger knowing that judging from our camera angle it looks like the three won't pass into the same corner pocket as a two if it does pass it's a lot easier but he'll be playing the two and drawing back on the three to get to the four see we see we touched the table there yeah he's showing us where he wants to put his um his white ball. He's not really showing us. He's telling himself in his mind, I want the ball there. So I can play the three ball in the middle, screw back for the four. And you know, sensing those key shots is actually um, a big art of this game. This, that's what these guys are very good at, sensing when they need to take an extra focus to get good position for the next yeah. See the way he's playing? Yeah, he's playing absolutely yeah. fantastic. Playing nice, but he did land a little bit on the wrong side of the yeah. five here. He's going to have to play a slightly different shot to get to the six. He'll still get the position. Yeah, off one rail. Start rail. One rail, bang, to the left. Wow. Nice shot. I love watching David, David play. That's I really perfect. do. First, first time I watched him play live was when we were in Adelaide. Remember that? Yeah. I watched him play live against Lewis Kondo, and I think um, I didn't watch the final though, but I watched Roger playing. It was just awesome to watch. So smooth. He played, He's I actually think, quite quick. I think he played uh, Kondo in the final in Adelaide. The final? Yeah. Did he, won did he win? Yeah, he did. Yeah. That's when we were in Roger to break the score is two apiece. Roger over Stuart, uh, Roger and Stuart Lawler. And this time Roger's, yeah, he made a ball, but he hasn't got a shot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kim Turner, uh, I don't know what he's showing us there, but uh, <laughs> they can't see from home. They've got a different camera angle to us. They're watching the game from the other side. 
Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. No, do I. What are you talking about? Who are you? Your name really Nabil? What have you done with my friend? So um, now he's just looking at a good place to push out. By the way, I enjoy doing commentary with Nabil. Very yeah. docile. Very calm kind of bloke. Oh, I am. That's I heard that's probably the hangover from yesterday. <laughs> you did some drinking yesterday. Eh? Part of your preparation to play pool today. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting that choice. Was a missed shot. It was Interesting push out. That. That's push out. Did you? It was mean to do that. Oh, yeah. He's pushing out to a place where he. It's hard for Stuart Lawler to play safe on him. He could send him back in, though. He could. If he doesn't like the shot, he has the option to send him back in or take it. But you know, it's hard to trick someone like Stuart Lawler. It's hard to put something somewhere he's not going to see. So um, yeah, but this is what I think he's going to send. I think he's going to send him back. I know I have my grip here. Look at this safety shot from Stewart. Oh, he's unlucky. Well, he just As I was saying that. earlier to you, Nabil, we will say back on the microphone, we we're saying yeah. that, that that last clearance and that last frame that Rogic did yes. was an extremely good clearance. And it looked easy because he got good position every time. He played those positions, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Especially the three ball on the screw back to get to the full. Uh huh. Played really well. Looks oh. like uh, he's looking for a ball in hand here. Well, he didn't have a good shot on the one ball. Yeah. Plus, he's got Stuart Lawler on one foul. Yeah, because Stuart Lawler scratched. So, if he gets him now, maybe he can get him on two fouls, yeah. which he does. He could. Um, I think he should be able to. I think he should this rack now. Yeah, run the rack from here. And if he gets into trouble and, and he gets into any place where he can play a safety shot, he's got Lawler on two rack, uh, two fouls. True. A lot of guys don't know that. If you start shooting balls, you can still keep shooting. Buy two, three balls, get to a good position, and then play safety. Safe. Get him on the third foul. Because but I'm sure even though the balls aren't touching each other, he still has a couple of difficulties in this rack. I the three the, to the four the three, isn't easy yeah. to plant. And then the four balls over the middle goes into the middle pocket. Well, but not easy might either. Have, might have got a bit stuck here. Well, he landed really straight in the two ball, so yeah. he's got to leave the two ball Unless there and take a the longer plan. combination. Unless he play, yeah, plays the plan on the three to the four. You like that word plant? The English term plant? Yeah. You know, the English say plant and the Americans say combination. I used to say trick shot. You used to say trick shot? That's you don't know how to play. <laughs> very funny. I'm just joking, guys. Nabil's a very fine player. He went deep and tall than me. So, I mean, that says a lot anyway. Well, um, you're currently ranked for what? Third? Fourth? I was ranked third yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they said the last tournament doesn't count, so. Ah, uh, yeah. It's I think it's every two tournaments. It's easily the worst performance I've had in a tournament. But, you know, it, even if you play bad in a tournament, there's still things to be learned from that. Of course. Like, I learned today not to come hungover. And <laughs> well, you should know that <laughs> already. Jump straight onto the table. See, now he's got him on two fouls, and, he's and he knows him again. he's got a snooker. Now, right. now Stuart Lawler's got to hit this, or right. else he loses the frame. Stuart Lawler is absolutely fantastic at jumping. Yeah, I'm not, not doubting it, but look, he can't jump. This is too close to the seven ball. He may jump, but, but he's got pressure now. He's got two fouls on him. The whole rack, if he misses this three, it's it. That's it. It's gone. Next frame. So he's got to hit this, and that makes it even harder. Which he is going for the shot. He's oh, missed it. That's frame it. over change in the commentary box we've been uh, got with the presence of uh, Graham Took, the president of the association welcome Graham thanks Nabil wow what a break looks like um, Logic will be uh, running this back as well he should do from here yeah it's a great spot what a great semi-final we saw between uh, Stuart Lola and John Minichi, eh? yeah some comeback yeah <laughs> So 
it's always good to see. You know, uh, one of the great things about pool, what makes you a great player, is being able to play from behind. That's right. So many people they got three or four frames behind, and they are pressure pressure. Down, and that's it. Be, that's right. You know, if you can get over that and just treat it as a normal game, it makes a huge difference. I don't think he got that where he wanted it. Yeah, he just left himself too much to do. Yeah. One good shot from Stewart here, and he should be in good position to run this back out. Oh, that's perfect. It's quite unfortunate for Stewart the last frame. Having oh, three fouls in the there. frame. Yeah. Still was good safety play from Dave. Yeah, very good. A lot of people don't realise it, but the three fouls is a yeah. huge part of the game. Yeah. You know? Nine ball can also play, as well as all the fast and furious potting. It's a very, very tactical game yeah. as well. Safety is a huge part of it. Came out a little bit too much. Yeah, he's still got a nice angle. Yeah, he can still have the shot. Just draw off one rail. Come across the table to where he's standing just now. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Such a great player. Stuart Will. Yeah, he's great to watch. And another change in the commentary box. Uh, we've got Richard Evans here from Oz Billiards. He's a major sponsor for this event. Welcome, Richard. Graham. It's all happening here at Wembley State uh, Snooker Sorry, I was just getting an update on the score there. I think two um, all. Dave Rodrick just took the last one to three, uh, bring three, it back level. Yep, 3-3. Been a good match so far. He's got a bit of work to do with this shot. for the safety, probably the best option. Definitely. Played it well too. Well, Dave's looking at the jump shot here. I think a bit close to the nine ball. I think he might go a little bit... Uh, off the right, yeah, yeah, he's done uh, a little. Looking at his diamond theory, and surprisingly, yeah. coming out really well. Turned out pretty good. If you get that kick off the uh, off the rail that spins the ball the right way and keeps it safe, all That's the it. better. It's one of the great things about nine ball throw. Much as it's very exciting, it looks quite straightforward, you still need a bit of luck in it. Leaving the same opportunity I would imagine for a safety again. I uh, think so, you yeah. can even pl play for the pot and uh, half a safety anyway, so yeah. Both options available today at the moment. Stuart having a go at this because the white has uh, a chance to go off and clip the nine in, but uh, he's having a look at that now. Yep. First things first, he should be looking at potting the two ball. But if the nine goes, it's a bonus. He's missed them both. And left a clear frame up for Dave. We'll see how he takes this one. Looks fairly straightforward from here. One of the real tricky shots getting on the four ball. That's 
that's it. All the balls can go into all the holes, which is the main thing. It's just the uh, the player's ability to be able to get them in the right position to do so. Exactly. Nice shot there. He's got a good angle on it. Making the right little centre of the table and uh, he'll be on for the uh, for the final. Still on nonetheless. Yeah, just made it a little bit more difficult, but I'd expect him to pot it still. True, and uh, having to keep a uh, player dead shot to keep it down for the nine or follow around the table. Oh, and decided to, to go the weight and uh, has brought it back nicely Beautiful for the nine. Beautiful shot. Makes it look so easy sometimes, doesn't it? Okay, the score is uh, 4 to 3 to Relgic. Barry the Mule on back. Here with the uh, lovely Richard Evans. Yeah, Baz back. Baz, wait, we don't think you ever went away. Well, I'm not going away, but I tell you what, Roger made the wing ball off the break and his second ball in the middle pocket. He's got a shot in the one ball. Would you like the safety shot here, Richard? Well, I'm not sure. At this angle, we might see him, get, we might be able to clip past that seven at the moment. Uh, the angle the we're, we're looking at on the video doesn't seem to, uh, yeah, I think the one might just be on that corner shot. Now he's going to uh, elect for the double, I believe. And just leaving the edge out there for Stewart to get. Some quality day uh, play today and yesterday, Barry. Oh yeah, these guys are both machines. But we've had a lot of good players in this tournament as well. Did very well. And um, whenever they came up against uh, Stuart Lawler or David Rodgick, they just didn't do that well. That's exactly right. This is the the, uh, the mark of the, the professional player that gets them to a particular level. That's right. They have that these ability to neutralise people. Uh, they really do. They really do. I mean. Uh, while, while it is difficult uh, as a mental game for people to come up against people of this calibre, it's also difficult when they get there and find that they're not getting left as much as many shots as they might do playing against another player. Um, and then also that little bit of pressure knowing the other player is going to capitalise on it if they do miss. So, triple threat. Uh, this is a very high calibre game. Yeah, making it look very easy here, Stuart Law. They are, aren't they? making you look very easy and it's really not that easy that's exactly right those that are it's that um, uh, the smallest uh, micron out with your cue positioning and, uh, and as you said just a little bit too much weight there from Stuart oh he gave that in and he's elected to give the ball I away. don't know if that was a good move for him uh, that rather than going cold on a break if Dave misses this one Stuart's got the opportunity to capitalize and keep him away from the table for a couple of minutes it can cool you down Dave made the wing ball again, the six ball in the corner pocket. And he has got a long shot on the one ball. And it is on, yes. Not an easy shot. Score is 5-3. See cue balls providing uh, Logic. the uh, specialty uh, custom scoreboard there right across the screen. Still running relatively safe under any normal circumstances, but uh, long potting one of Stewart's fortes. He's going to pull off a long pot and get position on a two ball. Once again, he makes it look 
easy, but unfortunately he kissed the four ball on the way out. Got to kick at this, but you're right, you make a good point there. Why give your opponent two simple shots to his brain? Because I don't know if that black ball was that easy. But still, also a bit of frustration might have kicked in there that he didn't run out there. I think you can't, a little bit of both, but... Uh Goes to show you though too how much these people respect each other's games. We, that's, that's great. We see it a lot in snooker. A, uh, another player will uh, get a break in the vicinity of the 70 mark and uh, making it difficult uh, for the, the next player to come along and uh, capitalise on it and or know that they have to sink every ball there. Uh -huh. And uh, they'll throw that game in if they believe that there's only just enough points on the table and no option to, to have to get out of a snooker. Mm. I think you may elect for a snooker here. Be right there, Barry. Oh, it's a good shot. It's a very nice shot. Yeah, you can probably clip the edge of it gently, but. Um, but controlling the white ball and the two is not easy when you're only hitting a little bit piece of the two. And he's, I believe he's shot. returned the favour. Wow, wow, nice shot from oh, Stuart Lawler. Yeah, roll past that ball. Like to try and sit just under the five here with the same weight, just the weight enough to stick the white. Oh no, the oh, it's not side of the object ball shot. instead would be better under the five and hits it thick. Yeah, I think he was trying to hit the five ball with the two there. And the less two lawyers are going to be complaining. It's like, Relg, you going to give me opportunities like this? I'll take him. Probably go a little bit gentler into the centre pocket than uh, last time, which uh, afforded him the loss of the last game. It's getting really loud in here, isn't it? It is well. It's always good to see that the room is full. Yeah, on a Sunday night, which is good. I can't see anything stopping Lola here. The score should be 5-4 after these two two balls are potted. With Lola's break. And I tell you what, I've been impressed with, by Lola's break. He's been breaking extremely well this whole event. The score comes.